Serger sewing is often seen in purchased garments, mainly in seam construction and seam finishes. It's also found in home decor and craft projects. Your serger uses up to four different threads to create a stitch. There are two needles and two loopers, which work together in different combinations to form stitches. There is a lower blade and an upper knife which work together to trim the fabric edges when you sew. The lower blade's position can be moved left or right to control how much fabric is allowed into the stitch. The blade is preset in the rolled hem position when you first take the machine out of the box. The blade can be moved toward the right for regular sewing position. This is the knife adjustment for the lower blade. To adjust the blade's position, turn the knob located at the front of the machine. For more details on this, refer to your machine manual. Notice the two small screws which hold the needles in place, one for the right needle marked A and one for the left needle marked B. Notice also that the left needle sits just a bit higher than the right needle. Your machine comes with two needles already in place. Because the machine can do different types of stitches, it may be necessary to change the needle setup of the machine. We'll talk more about this later in the program. To remove a needle, insert the end of the screwdriver from your accessory kit into the screw. Turn counterclockwise and the needle is released. Do the same procedure to remove the right needle. To replace a needle, slip the needle into the needle slot. Make sure that the flat side of the needle shank is toward the back. Push the needle all the way up, then tighten the screw. Oil the machine here and here and use only sewing machine oil. After cleaning out any lint, just a drop is needed on these moving parts about every 10 hours of actual stitching time. Cleaning brushes and sewing machine oil are available from your Singer retailer. The stitch length control is located on the right side of the machine. This adjusts the stitches so that they sew closer together or further apart. The higher the number setting on the dial, the more distance between the stitches. And the lower the number, the more dense the stitching becomes. The setting marked F means fine. It's a very short stitch length, mostly used for rolled hemming, which will be shown later in the program. Differential feed prevents seams from puckering or becoming stretched, and can also be used to gather fabrics. Look under the presser foot and you will see the feed dogs, which pull fabric under the presser foot when you sew. By setting the lever toward the top, the front feed dog moves more slowly than the back, causing the fabric to stretch. This helps pull the fabric taut, removing any puckers. By setting the lever toward the bottom, the front feed dog moves faster than the back, causing the fabric to gather. This can also be very helpful in preventing seams from becoming stretched out, especially on sweatshirt fabrics or fleece.